Hi, good afternoon everyone. Thank you so much for joining the conference today. My name is Michelle Bradford and I'm editor of Closets and Organized Storage Magazine with CCI Media. Um, in this webinar today, we're going to take a look at some of the top trends that are impacting the industry. So again, thank you for joining. So based on published research by various industry associations, uh, new product launches, at national trade shows, as well as interviews and conversations with closet design firms across the country, the trends that we'll take a look at today are ones that I think are kind of really important to watch. They're percolating up um, in the industry. And those trends are economic, colors, multifunctional spaces, lighting, and technology. Economic trends. Um, the state of the economy is perhaps the most important trend line to be aware of because obviously it impacts the, your business's financial health. The good news is that the overall economy continues to have a very positive outlook with stable housing market and robust spending and remodeling. So when it comes to the housing market, um, according to the NAHB, overall housing production continues to rise. As a matter of fact, August numbers show a 9.2% increase in housing starts. However, there are some questions about affordability concerns, but despite that, builder confidence remains pretty strong. Um, a growing economy and rising incomes combined with increasing Household formation should boost demand for new single-family homes moving forward. This is according to the NAHB chief economist, Robert Dietz. Um, another thing to note is that existing home sales remain steady in August. This is after four months of decline, according to the National Association of Realtors. Um, their chief economist, Lawrence Young, notes that with inventory stabilizing and modestly rising, buyers are really uh, ready to step back into the marketplace. So all of that really bodes well for um, the industry. Uh, there's a lot going on. And also, if you look at remodeling, uh, it's very robust right now. Homeowners are expected to increase spending on improvements and repairs, reaching about $350 billion in 2019. And Chris Herbert, who's Managing Director of the Harvard Joint Center for, uh, for Housing Studies, he says this about the uh, remodeling forecast. He says a growing economy and strong job market are boosting owners' willingness to invest in home improvements. Uh, they also expect that homeowners will increase uh, by about 5% in 41 of the 50 metros that the center tracks, and about 10% or more in 11 of those major metros. Spending growth is projected to be particularly strong in many of the nation's more affordable markets. This is what uh, Chris continues to say about, um, about remodeling. And at the same time, there are very uh, few high-cost markets where low housing is spurring on the renovation of existing homes. Another thing to note is that small-scale renovations are slowly becoming just as popular as large-scale projects. The economy, the economic trends, we are, are having a positive impact on closets and organized storage industry. Uh, we're also seeing that anecdotally, as firms across the country report more business, as well as with research showing that the demand for home organization products is expected to grow about 3.4 percent per year, uh, reaching 10.5 billion in 2019. So now is a perfect time to attract new customers and apply some of the latest trends that we're seeing, specifically in color, lighting, multifunctional spaces, and technology. So give them what they want. And what do homeowners want? Organization. They want to be organized in every aspect of their lives. They want a calm oasis and like a peaceful place from their very busy lifestyles. And they want that organization across the entire home. They are increasingly aware of design options available due to the rise of celebrity designers like Lisa Adams from LA Closet Design, design shows on HGTV, and there seems to be new shows coming out all the time. There was a recent show that just launched in September. It's called Master the Mess. It's on DirecTV, and it features a, a company called The Home Edit. It's a professional organizing team based out of Nashville, Tennessee. Uh, so this program appears on Reese Witherspoon's uh, new network called Hello Sh Sunshine. And it's, like, as I said, it premiered in September. 
And this company is uh, gaining a little bit of buzz because they've organized the home of some celebrities like Mandy Moore. So you're seeing more of that as well as profiles of celebrity closets and publications like Architectural Digest, El Decor, uh, Vogue Magazine, the New York Times, and just other media outlets who are responding to just homeowners' desire to just get organized. Here's a bit of research on what homeowners want based on a study from the National Association of Realtors conducted in 2013. But it's still relevant, I think, to what's going on now. The majority of buyers wanted more or larger closets and more storage space. A walk-in closet in a master bedroom was the second most important feature considered when purchasing a home. 78% chose a home with a garage, and 47% I uh, thought a home with a laundry room was very important, and 89% thought that it was at least somewhat important. So what does this mean for home builders and the home buying trend? What we're seeing is that some of the larger closet manufacturers like Closet Maid and Organized Living are following these home buyer trends and consumer demands and are offering enhanced closet uh, options specifically for home builders. For instance, Closet Made offers a concierge service for both home builders and home buyers, offering kind of upgraded uh, closet systems for the home. Organized Living has a, a tool they call Closet Selector. And uh, this tool provides 3D renderings of upgraded closet options. So some builders are also have programs in place that allow home buyers to include the closet and home storage upgrades into their mortgage. So one impact of having en enhanced closet systems, especially in things like apartments and condos, is that when those renters are ready to buy a home, they, have, they will have even greater expectations and demands for their closet space, which means more business opportunity for closet design for firms. So trends, what are we seeing? Color. 2019 color trends for panels and interior finishes are expected to include earth tones, a continuation of textured looks, and an influence of nature. Also, greens, blues, and grays remain very strong. And that was even more evident. Yesterday I was at the Design Chicago event uh, that's going down on at the Merchandise Mart. And a couple of the panels, uh, the designers were talking about textures, patterns, and colors. And one of the, the things they kept noting was that there are some colors that are always going to remain strong. Uh, those are some of those earth tone colors, colors that are found in nature. They've been historically strong, and they will be, continue to be strong. You'll just see different variations and gradations of those colors. Uh, also, we're seeing a, a metallic accent finishes like gold. Several of the major interior paint manufacturers have also uh, already in introduced new color palettes uh, and the color of the year from 2019. Sherwin Williams introduced cavern clay. Uh, cavern clay, again, following that earth tone theme, it's a warm terracotta color. The color is an easy way to bring the warmth of the outdoors inside. The company wants you to envision beaches and canyons, deserts, sun-washed late summer afternoons. Uh, Cavern Clay comes from the Wanderer Collection within Sher Sherwin-Williams 2019 Color Mix forecast. Axel Nobel introduced their 2019 Color of the Year, and it's spiced honey. It's a warm amber. It's a color that can be calming or nourishing, stimulating, as well as energizing. And all of that depends on the lighting around it. As you see later, lighting is just something that's really significant uh, in design. So it's impacted by not only the lighting, but the various colors that are around it. The palette that the company chose to go with it is filled with richly pigmented shades, including like a deep, deep forest green, bold teal colors, intense terracotta red. And all of that is tempered by pale neutrals like the spiced honey. Uh, with wooden furniture and botanical prints, it creates an atmosphere of relaxation and coziness. Again, that goes with the theme of trying to give homeowners a respite from their busy lifestyles, give them peace in their home, basically. Dunn Edwards introduced its 2019 color palette called Spirited Journey. Its five key trends encompass an appreciation for the past, 
as well as excitement for what's ahead. The palettes consist of extreme odyssey. Those are aquatic tones contrasted with pearl white, camouflage, grayed purple, and terracotta paired with weathered and oxidized textiles, metals, woods, and ceramics. Another part of their collection is City Stroll, which has dazzling bright colors paired with bright white, sporty graphic colors, and near neons. Poetic Passage, that's another one of theirs. It's casual blues, tender pinks uh, that will be paired with graphic colors, sophisticated nude palettes, and desaturated colors. Country Caper, I like that name, uh, features greens from soft and gray to dark and vibrant, paired with brown, pastels, uh, red, and chalky neutrals. And the last of the five includes Sojourn. Uh, simple primary colors paired with outdoorsy colors like olive and brown. So Don Edwards will also release his 2019 Color of the Year uh, later this fall. So be, make sure you look out for that. Bear Paint revealed a blueprint. It's a mid-tone blue as his 2019 Color of the Year. Bear says that blueprint basically charts a course for people to kind of reimagine the colors and the design of their home. It's warmer than denim, but softer than navy. It's a refined blue that the company says reflects authenticity, confidence, and timelessness. Additional companies, including Benjamin Moore and the Pantone Colorist Institute, as well as other companies, will reveal their color of the year for 2019 later this fall. Uh, I think there's always something to keep an eye out, just to see where the trends are going with that. Um, a lot will be stuff we've seen from before, kind of themes of before. But one thing to keep in mind when paint companies and firms like Pantone select a color, it's based on research of trends from things like fashion, social media, just all aspects of society. And so they bring that into what they think is going to be trending for uh, colors to come. So designers are not beholden to these predictions, but the colors of the year and often their corresponding color palettes offer a starting point and an opportunity to match colors with themes and to find the perfect accent color for a project. Surface innovations. We're seeing a lot going on in this category, and mainly because of technology. Technology has produced lamas that mimic the look and feel of real wood. Advances in digital printing provide the ability to align the decor paper and the surface texture to replicate these real wood characteristics. A number of companies uh, have embossed and registered surfaces, and they've launched new products along those lines. The following three firms we're going to look at, they're just a sampling of some of the new styles and textures that are out there that have been launched recently. Areco previewed its 2019-2020 PRISM TFL collection at IWF. The collection is comprised of three new wood grain series, an update to its existing Tactian oak, an exotic leathery wood grain, and the inclusion of two walnut decors. What we're seeing here in this uh, photo, what's pictured is um, Outlandia. It's their exotic leathery wood grain look. And you can see it on the sliding closet door uh, in the surrounding area. And they also paired it with burlap on the bed frame. Uniboard uh, also introduced new colors for I, at IWF 2018. So the three new finishes include Nobella in Boston Register, which is inspired by Italy's modern styles. Lyra is a delicate and complex layered wood grain. And ve Vellum, it's a new matte finish with such subtle texturing that enhances both solid colors and wood grain designs. Also at IWF, uh, Stevens Industries displayed textured synchronized high pressure laminates for its newest colors in its Legno collection. So as you can see, the popularity of these wood print products can be attributed not only to affordability, because as I mentioned earlier, some of the advances in digital uh, printing are allowing them to do a lot to mimic the look of real wood, but also what we're seeing in the color trends. Um, that's emphasizing texture and just the warmth of earth tones and wood looks. Trends in multifunctional spaces. I think you're going to see a lot of movement in this area. Oh, we have already, but this is uh, another 
thing to keep your eye on. And what's driving the move in multifunctional spaces? It's a demand for apartments and housing in urban areas, um, especially the the housing market is going well, but there is some pressure from people to find affordable housing. So you see a lot of movements uh, in apartments, and you see the demand, especially in a lot of urban areas. The job market is strong. People want to be closer to their jobs. You're also seeing empty nesters that are downsizing. There's a desire to have a simpler lifestyle and a smaller footprint. And there's an increasing number of people who work remotely, who work from home. Wall beds, folding tables, and products promoting hidden and seamless storage are essential in creating multifunctional designs. And what I'm going to show you next are a few examples. Um, these came from our annual design competition, Top Shelf Design, and because a lot of the trends we're seeing are showing up in our design contest. Uh, this project was created by designer Sue Tinker from Closet Works. It's a wall bed. Um, as I said, she entered this project in the Home Office category in the 2017 Top Shelf Design Awards. Uh, this is what Sue has to say about this particular project. Being able to use the spare room for multiple purposes was very important in planning the space. The second bedroom in this home is used as a home office most of the day. However, in the evening and over the weekend, it becomes a fun movie room with reclining seats and a large screen television. When friends come over for an overnight visit, it eas easily makes another transformation into a comfortable guest bedroom equipped with queen size bed. So again, we're seeing wall beds used in home offices, in spare rooms for additional guests, even in craft rooms. Um, people have set up areas to make their crafts, but then they'll include a wall bed that it turns easily into a guest room when necessary. Folding tables. Designer uh, Dina Stansbury from Closets by Design uh, also entered this project in the 2018 Top Shelf Design Awards. As you can see in the photos, the hidden table folds neatly into, into the wall niche. Uh, here's how Dina described the project. The homeowners live in a one-bedroom high-rise condominium and needed the office den to serve multiple purposes. She says that they installed a combination of open shelves, corner shelves, and a drop-down table with adjustable height legs installed in the niche with pull-out tables, I'm sorry, pull-out trays, and deep shelving. And all of it can be folded up and closed when the room serves overnight guests. Again, this is another example of just how these products to make a room multifunctional. And uh, it's becoming essential in a lot of designs. So another example we're seeing in terms of hidden storage, um, in this particular project, the goal of it, uh, and again, this was designed by Lori, designed by Lori Hafela of Hafela Design. And the goal of this project was to design a, comp a, comp a <laughs> contemporary handleless media cabinetry with office storage and a built-in desk. The homeowner only has space for either a home theater or home office. With custom design cabinetry and hardware, they were able to provide the, the client with both. Um, the, the custom design storage features uh, a fully functioning pull-out desk and ample storage for office valves, supplies, and a printer. So you can see in this photo in the back, the very first, um, inset, it's all closed. And then the doors slide open, you see shelving, and then the doors slide further open, and you can see uh, the office. The next slide, you can see the office space in more detail. It's a tall storage cabinet, and along the back of the wall of the room is a fully customized office uh, with a pull-out desk with a drawer. Then underneath, there are additional drawers and shelving above. So these projects are just a few examples of designs using wall beds, folding tables, and hidden storage to create multifunctional spaces. As I mentioned earlier, we're seeing an increasing number of these types of projects in our design awards, which only suggests a growing demand just for functional as well as flexible storage. Lighting trends. Lighting, again, I think is an area you really want to keep your eye on. 
It is the accessory to watch, not only for its functional use, but new applications that enhance and uh, illuminate a project's design. So the top trends in lighting, um, there's natural lighting, layered lighting, and background lighting. Designers are finding more ways to maximize natural light with larger windows and doors and an addition of skylights. Uh, this, again, is another project that was entered into our Top Shelf Design Awards in 2018. Uh, this was designed by Lacey Walters of Closet Factory. And as you can see, it's a, it's a walk-in closet, but it has a window that allows the natural light from outdoors to come inside, along with the lighting sources at the top. Layered lighting. Um, a room may have several sources of light, from a central fixture, recessed lighting, and indirect up lighting, as well as under cabinet lighting, task lighting, and accent lighting. This project was designed by Patty Miller, uh, Direct Cabinet Sales, uh, another entry into our top shelf competition. Sorry if I keep mentioning that. But I think, as I said earlier, a lot of these designers are hitting on a lot of the trends that we're seeing in the industry. Um, what she says about this particular uh, space is that the closet did not have very good natural light even though you can see a window um, at the back of the room. She says it was still not uh, well lit. And they were limited uh, to the overhang lighting they could use due to the attic access in the ceiling. So to rectify this, they included LED lighting inside of all of the cabinets and above the banks of the drawers. They also added two wall sconces for additional lighting. So again, this is another example of just how you can layer the lighting sources in a project. Background lighting. Backlit furniture pieces, um, lighting above kitchen cabinets and toe kits, lighting in closets and baths create a subtle glow and enhance design features. Uh, we're seeing that a lot, especially in some of the displays at some of the trade shows, where the vignettes that people have up, they have a beautiful lighting, uh, they have a beautiful closet system, and they're showcasing that with the backlighting in each project. This particular photo was one I took uh, when I went to uh, Custom Cabinet Maker Wood Modes. They had a uh, new product showcase um, last month, and they were showing some of their uh, new products they have coming out. And this particular one, it's a new closet style that they have uh, that's modern with glass and metallic features. But what I thought was interesting, it also displays some of the backlighting that uh, people have been saying is kind of a trend that's, that we're seeing in work. Um, this company, Woodmode, has been pretty uh, on top of it when it comes to lighting. Uh, in 2016, they launched an integrated lighting program in collaboration with Hayfla. Uh, it allows their designers and the homeowners to integrate lighting solutions at the outset of design. When they're first talking about design, they kind of talk about how the lighting is going to work for that. And one of the things that I think is pretty interesting, uh, you're seeing a lot of drawer lighting. So when a drawer opens, there's a light bar within it that illuminates all of the, the contents of the drawer. And whether also in shelving, uh, you're seeing lighting um, in open shelving uh, solutions. So there's just a lot of things you can do with lights. And I, I don't have it in this slide, but one thing to keep track of too is smart home applications and how lighting will be used in that process. Well, when I was at IWF, one of the things I noticed was that um, a couple of companies had apps that you could use to adjust the lighting. You could dim it. You could change the color temperature. All of that could change the look of the cabinetry, the look of the closet, um, and all of that's controlled by an app on your smartphone, an app on your iPad. Um, I think that's something to keep an eye out, especially with uh, all the innovations that are going on in smart home technology. Just the various things that you can do with lighting. So technology. Uh, with the advances in technology, savvy entrepreneurs and established companies are offering up innovative interior design tunes, tools, as I mentioned, uh, via smartphone apps for both consumers as well as professionals. Numerous programs with 3D and virtual reality technology 
aid in design. But another tool that's picking up steam is augmented reality, uh, which allows users to take photos of a room with their smartphone cameras and then overlay the image with virtual items. This is similar. I don't know how many of you uh, use social media apps, but it's similar to the filters on apps that you, you see in Snapchat as well as Instagram. And a couple of companies that are, have programs out, have apps out already, include Hutch Interiors, House, uh, Google has a program with Pottery Barn, uh, Apple and Ikea have an app, and they all use AR technology, uh, augmented technology in those apps. But another thing that we're seeing um, is artificial intelligence used in design. AI design or artificial intelligence is gaining popularity with companies like Planner 5D and Autodesk. However, there's a new app uh, from Lexset that's claiming to be a game changer in this space. According to the company, Lexset uses your space to search for products and design solutions uh, with artificial intelligence and augmented reality. According to TechCrunch, the app has four components. Uh, Lexset, which combines image recognition tools that identify objects in a room and recommends other decorations or spatial configurations to complement the existing objects. LexGuide, which offers a catalog of offerings from different retailers. LexTal, which can create different tiling patterns for surfaces. And also LexSymbol, which provides instructions for making furniture in augmented reality. So what does all of this mean for design? It's pretty significant. I think it means that as customers embrace this technology, they will expect it to be incorporated in their homes, which will impact how you design a home, as well as in the design process, how they, you show them what you're doing. So I, again, I mentioned I was at um, Design Chicago yesterday, and there was a session that was talking about some of the digital trends going on. And they talked a lot about this, in particular AI, um, in terms of chat box, uh, chat bot. Uh, you'll see it on some sites. You'll go to, there will be a, um, a message pop up, say, can they help you? Um, the speaker in the session I was in said that's becoming increasingly important, especially for small businesses because it allows them to have kind of a competitive edge. It allows them to uh, kind of compete on a different level. And one of the things she also mentioned was that because artificial intelligence, augmented reality, virtual reality, um, the younger generation, particularly Generation Z, they are growing up with this. And this is something that is part of their lives. They've already embraced it. So as these people come out into the marketplace, they're going to expect that um, in who they work with, you know, expect it at work as well as at home in all areas. So I think it's important to kind of just keep track of what's going on in the technology and design, how that impacts you, how you could use it in your business, uh, again, to make you more competitive. Uh, I think there are just going to be some significant movements in this, in this area that we're going to be seeing. So we'll just have to watch this space to see what comes up next. So again, so these were just a few of some of the design uh, trends that I think are going to be impactful for you. Uh, this is just an overview of the economic, color, multifunctional lighting, and technology trends that, I've, uh, that I feel are just going to have an impact on the closet and home storage industry. Uh, we'll have a rundown of several of these trends in the December issue of Closets and Ordinary Storage magazine, as well as our Cabinets and Closets conference in Charlotte in March. So be sure to check it out. I hope that helps, and I wish good business for the rest of you. Thank you very much.